Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next senator from Pennsylvania, Dave McCormick. Hello, Milwaukee! Who's ready? Who's ready to retire Joe Biden and border czar Kamala Harris and send her back to California? Who's ready for that? And who's ready to make Donald Trump our 47th president? Are you ready for that? And who's ready to make J.D. Vance our new vice president? And who's ready to send Chuck Schumer packing? I'm ready. I'm ready. My name is Dave McCormick, and I'm running to be the Pennsylvania's next United States Senator, the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And I want to first acknowledge what transpired just a few days ago in my home state, where I witnessed firsthand from a front row seat in Butler, President Trump's remarkable strength and resolve in a terrifying, terrifying and unpredictable moment. The President rose brilliantly to the challenge. But what a sad, sad and frightening day for the families of those who were injured or lost and for our great country. And we all thank God that President Trump is okay. I'm a seventh generation Pennsylvanian from the great Keystone State, born and raised. A West Point graduate, a former Army wrestler. I'm a combat veteran of the 82nd Airborne Division. All right, 82nd. And I'm a business leader who helped create hundreds of jobs in Western Pennsylvania. But most important, I'm a dad to six daughters, and I'm a husband to the love of my life, Dina, wherever she is. Now, now, my opponent's name is Bob Casey. But you probably don't know him because he does nothing. For 18 years, Bob Casey has been warming a chair and drawing a paycheck. He is a do-nothing, out-of-touch, liberal career politician. And when he votes, he votes for Joe Biden's tired old ideas. Casey's been around so long so long that the number one song when he was first elected was the Macarena, right? Does everybody remember the Macarena? But sadly, this is no joke, because politics is about choices, and the policies of Biden and Bob Casey are dangerous for Pennsylvania and America. They won't keep us safe. Drugs have poured across the Biden-Harris-Casey wide open borders, killing 100,000 Americans including 4,000 Pennsylvanians last year alone. Illegal immigrants have victimized innocent young women who could easily be your daughter or mine. And time again, Casey has voted for pro-criminal judges who have made our streets across Pennsylvania more dangerous. Biden and Casey's failed policies have crushed working families with sky-high prices for gas and groceries and rent and regulations to kill Pennsylvania natural gas. Under President Trump, America's was future was strong and prosperous, and our adversaries feared stepping out of line. My friends, the choice this November is clear. It's a choice between strength and weakness, a choice between America's greatness or its sad, disgraceful decline. This is, my friends, the most important election of our lifetimes. And we deserve a president and a Senate that will go to the mat to fight for America. A president and a Senate that will unite America. And in Pennsylvania, that means voting for Trump and McCormick in November. Thank you all for leading the charge. God bless our United States of America.